Don. But I don't want no tea. It gives me a headache. Oh, uh, well, uh, uh, what shall we have then? Coffee. Hey, everyone. All right, look, I'm getting towards the end now. Uh, I've been working, adding a few more things on since I showed you last, since last night, or since yesterday, uh, when I worked on it. Um, I've got the um, 88 mounted on here. It's got to be perfectly sideways so I can fit this torpedo and launcher on. If you can see it or not. Um, but all, this, all the chrome, I mean the uh, aluminum and the brass color there. So I've already got the wires attached for that that are going to go up to the con tower, to the pulley system up there. So I've already got those. They're extra long, so I can cut them short and whatever I want. Hardest part's going to be mounting this down. I have four, uh, one, two, three, four. I have a bunch of little legs right there. I goofed up at first. I was having this so that this was actually farther towards the front. Actually, it sits back towards the 88. I didn't know that till I read the instructions again, which I've read a bunch of times, but now I'm like, oh, crap. That's why it didn't make sense. Now it makes sense. So I'm happy now. I've got that all situated. I have glued the stand to the aluminum part of the torpedo, which I did not coat or anything, so it really holds. So I've got super glue all down the middle of it. And it's ready to rock and roll. I'm going to let that dry. I'm going to hit it with all the shiny parts on the super glue. Well, I may just leave it alone. It doesn't really matter. You're not going to see it anyway. But I've got to uh, let that dry a little bit. I want to make sure that dries. Um, also, I've been working really hard on this. I now have the 88 mount of the AA gun mounted on the back. I have the flag on, as you can see. And uh, I've where the little bit of glossy stuff came out from the glue from when I mounted it in there. Uh, I touched that up with some uh, Vallejo matte, and the same thing with the flag. Where the, I used um, to mount the flag, I used the uh, acrylic uh, Gator Grip glue, and uh, that mounted the flag on perfectly. I just put a little bit on the edge, stuck it up there, took a toothpick, ground it down, and just little bit of edge right along between the flag pole and the flag itself just created this nice little line glued it in really well other than that I had to bend this um, the bracket here this nice brass looking bracket you see right there I had to bend that way down to meet the torpedo and I had to meet the torpedo bracket I had to bend it up to make this work at this point it's gonna be fine I'm not gonna worry about it um, other than that I've been real busy with that so I thought I'd let you keep you all up on that um, I'm down to the point where I gotta put it all together. I want to add some more of the um, easy line onto the um, tower for the little stringing for that. I gotta do three lines on that. I'll keep it over there. And then when I put the glue on for this, I'll just bring it in the lines over this way and set it right down on the glue. That way the lines are all on that side. They don't hit anything, don't break anything. Whew. I'm trying to figure all this out without going nuts. Then I'm probably going to let, when I do that, then I'm going to let everything dry overnight. And then I'm going to mount, uh, well, I may attempt to mount this tonight or today. I, uh, I'm i still debating whether to use uh, Gator Grip glue or Instant Glue. With the situation now, I think I may just use Instant Glue, dab it all on, and just plop it right down. And then touch it up with some Instant Glue if I have to. I think that'll hold better against the paint. I can't cut you know, scrape the little areas where it's going to be. It's so fine, it's impossible. So, that's my plan now. <laughs> uh, it's going to be fun. But, uh, I'm happy it's getting towards the end. And, uh, like I said, I'm not painting anymore. I'm not going to, you know, let's have to do some touching up. I'll touch up stuff. Oh, and this rail right here, for some reason, I looked at this morning going, what the heck? And two of the things had popped loose, so luckily I just dabbed it with some instant glue, stuck it back, and uh, where the instant glue was shiny, I just used some uh, matte varnish on it, and it disappeared. So then that, it's ready to rock and roll. Um, 
it's turned out better than I thought. Uh, things are going together. The, the really relieved me a lot was that stand. It held together. I was playing with it, squishing it down on top, or you know, making it fit into the um, torpedo. It fit really well. Just tacked the glue in there. Boom. I'm done. I'm like, woohoo. So now I just put super glue on it or whatever and just plop it right down. And with the gun perfectly sideways, it fits perfect back there. No problem. So I'm happy. All right. I'll, uh, thanks for watching. I'll get back to you. I'm done. <laughs> Thank God, I'm done. Well, almost done. Uh, I've got some little bit of touching up to do. Uh, you know, little that little spots that are glossy and stuff like that. I've got to, I got to touch them up. Uh, I got to touch up some black parts over here. But I already put one coat on. I'll put another coat on where that uh, metal bar came down attached to a torpedo. That's it, baby. I've got her done. Get her done. <laughs> I hate him. Anyway, uh, there it is. Torpedoes in, on. I've also got some glossy spots here by the torpedo thing that I touched down with super glue, and I got to touch them up with some matte varnish. Um, I've got little hairs here and there. I want to take some of that blue tack. Uh, you know, just if you wanted to get hairs off of something like that, take some of this blue tack, pair of needle nose, soften it up really good, like this. Hold it with needle nose and just dab it where some hair is and it'll come right off. Oh, I can't tell you how good this feels to have this done. Pretty much. I ran the rigging. You can I don't think you can see or not. All the rigging is run. Now, the only thing I did not do, and I'm not going to risk it. I'm, I'm tired. I'm done with this. Is there's little photo etch plates that... Uh, I don't know if they're on here or not. Um, but... Uh, no, there must be any other ones. But there's these little tiny photo etch plates that go on the wires, the electrical insulators for the wires. I'm not putting them on. I had enough problem. I, I strung this line from here to here and then back over to here, and that was no problem. The front was really no problem. The hard part was all the pulleys and stuff for um, for all the, the torpedo and doing all that, and I broke it off, put it back together, broke it off, put it back together. Ah! I'm not, I'm not breaking these lines. I, I swear to God, I'm not going to break them. So I'm not touching them. They're alone. I don't care if it's incorrect. I don't give a crap. It's my model. I love it the way it is, and that's all that counts. Uh, I'm just, really, I'm just scared to break this line. And I've got to put a bunch of my afraid of it's going to weight it down with all the photo etch parts on there. I, I just don't want to risk it. Um, this stuff is very taunt. I can play with it with my finger, and it works great. I just don't want to risk it, you know, bending down farther and being loopy. Forget that. It's beautiful the way it is. Um, but I'm really, really happy. Got the 88 mounted on there. And, um, oops, let me see if I can let you see that. Put the camera up a little bit. There we go. It helps out the light a little bit. You can see the 88 sitting right there. And everything. Torpedo's in on the, lawn, on the, on the holder there. I got everything in place. It looks fantastic. Oh, I put the diesel exhaust on right here. Last night, I forgot that on my last video. I put the diesel exhaust on both sides. Just took some of that, um, what's the name, powder, the uh, uh, flurry powders that I got, black. Just took a very small, little, tiny, tiny brush that's very bristly and just stabbed it on there. You know, just dab it, dab it, dab it, and it finally just went on and stayed on. I just blew it off. I didn't touch it. It's great. It's just like diesel exhaust. Um, I forgot to tell you, I put a green green gouache on the um, uh, screws back here. Uh, I didn't forget to tell you that a while back. I just remembered it. Uh, so that turned out that brass color with the green gouache on it made it look aged and worn and tired. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad this is done. Yay, just some minor touch-ups. I could take all this Tamiya tape off, put it in its case, and I'm done. The rest of the week is party time till the meeting. Woohoo! So, like I said, I'm not, I'm not, I did the best that I could do, that I enjoyed doing. Uh, yes, it was a lot of pain in the butt. Uh, but you know what? Overall, this came out better than I expected, and I really am happy with it. Um, I don't want to ever do this much photo washed again. Uh, this has been very uh, nerve-wracking. Uh, so fragile. 
But I'll tell you what, when I do my 135th skill tanks, I will laugh at the photo I on that because it's nowhere near as hard as this. So I've learned a lesson. I'm very happy. Um, I'll tell you what, I'm going to take some pictures of this thing and I'll put them on the end of this. And uh, I'm very, very satisfied. It looked wonderful once the case is on there. And uh, I want to enter it in the uh, model of the uh, month uh, thing for this coming model meeting this Saturday. And I'm happy. So this is the final video for this. Thank you all for watching very much. Uh, this has been a neat experience to share with all of you. Um, I, I did it because of the modelers out there that want to see stuff that they haven't seen before. Maybe they have, and then, and maybe some of you are saying, well, that's not the way to do it, or I wouldn't do it that way, and that's true. Not everybody does things the same way, but I'm, I watch many videos on YouTube and watch guys, and I say, oh, I wouldn't do it that way too. But this is my way of doing things, and I just wanted to show you all this, and if you learned something, great. If you didn't, that's okay too. Uh, I just wanted to share it with you. And maybe I, I know I've inspired a couple people to build subs, uh, to work on models. And that's my main obje uh, uh, agenda is to help people want to build models. It's, it's a great hobby. Um, you're doing 3D art. Um, yeah, it's, for me, that's what I love is 3D art. And this is it. And I care for it, love it very much. I've been doing it since I was a very young boy, about 10 years old. And my, I just loved it ever since then. So, all right. Well, thank you for watching all my sub videos. I really appreciate it. I'm going to put some pictures of it when it's finished here in the end. And then I'll do a final shoot with this thing probably outside one day. It's cold out now, but I will take it outside, set it up with a nice background and, and take some really beautiful pictures of that. So, um, I'll do that later, but right now I'll take pictures of it for you, for you all to see and put it at the end of this video. Alright, well thank you again very much for watching all my videos. I appreciate it.